It is time to start the process, you guys. So I'm going to be doing this outdoors because you know when you're painting, it's messy. So I start by getting a plastic bag just to cover the picnic table to minimize the exposure of the paint. And I'm going to grab just a small piece of some tape and place it on the edges of the plastic so that it can stay down. It's very, very windy out here and I don't want everything flying everywhere. I gathered a few soda cans over the course of three days, which was very hard to do because I'm not a heavy soda drinker. And I'm just going to add an extra can into the system because I'm not sure how many I will need and we can always use an extra one. I'm going to be using this spray paint that I purchased from Walmart for only two bucks, you guys. Very affordable. I found a few twigs on the ground and I thought it would be a smart idea to insert the twigs into the soda cans to have the perfect grip. If I use gloves and I touch the soda cans, it's just going to get sticky and messy. So this is perfect because I can twist and twirl and rotate the soda can to my leisure and get every angle. I didn't use gloves in this process, which I do not recommend. I recommend everyone use gloves. It's only because I don't have any at the moment and I wanted to get this done but make sure you use gloves because this gets very messy and if you happen to get it on your skin just use a little rubbing alcohol and it will come right off because the wind is very heavy the spray began to get everywhere especially on my camera lens so I just had to move just a little bit more further back just to make sure that I'm keeping things clean as possible. So make sure that you're protecting your camera if you're planning to do this on camera. So I'm just going to fast forward through all of my cans. And as you can see, it's like it's coming out so great already. My boyfriend decided to take over at this point because this is very tedious and my fingers started to hurt. So don't do everything all at once because you can get like arthritis or something because this is like crazy. Um, but yeah, so they came out more beautiful than I thought they would have come out. I wish I had a brighter pink because this looked more white to me, but it's light pink, you guys, if you see it in person. After letting the cans dry overnight, I am now prepped and ready to roller set my hair. So I bought a pack of scrunchies for $1 at the Dollar Tree store. I also got this mousse for one dollar at the Dollar Tree store. Dollar Tree is my favorite store you guys. It's where I love to shop for everything, all my hair essentials. This is how the can came out. It's fully dried. After 24 hours of drying, I kept it dry for like a night and a day and um, it looks really good. I'm using my handy dandy comb. You know this is my favorite comb to use. And I had prepped my hair with some pin curls and just put it up just so it can be easier to curl around the soda can. So I'm just going to use my paddle brush and some hairspray I also got from Dollar Store just to tame this hairstyle. So I'm going to start in the front area. And you guys know from my hair videos that I love to start on the top of my hair. And I'm going to go a little further back in my wig. I am wearing a lace front wig right now. Um, it's not fully laced. I do have tracks in the back. But I'm not going to do the traditional curl down the middle, down the sides. I wear a side part, so I'm going to do a side part curl. So I'm going to grab two of my elastic bands. And I am going to grab some mousse. And the mousse is to ensure that the hair sticks around the soda can bottle. You don't need to use a lot, just a little amount is cool enough. And I'm mostly going to paste the mousse on the ends, just so that it can give me that grip. You can use as much mousse as you desire, but I don't plan on keeping this hairstyle in for long. And I didn't want my hair to be just, you know, all matted up with like product. So I do want the open side of my can bottle to show, which is why I placed it towards the front area. And as you can see, I'm just using the excess mousse to just smooth out the hair, just adding just a little mousse at a time, just to make sure that the hair is laying very smooth and neat on the soda can bottle. Please excuse my bad English. I keep saying soda can bottle. I'm not too sure why, but I'm positive. I'm probably gonna say it again. Um, but yeah, so this was a difficult process, okay? 
Um, Moose is your best friend. It's really is what is like maintaining these this hair around the soda can and I'm just doing a lot of like adjusting and moving around just to make sure it's laying as smooth as possible. As you can see from my face, I am very focused. This is my first time doing this. I did not try it before this video. So I'm going to take my scrunchie and I'm going to put it at one end of the soda can bottle. Yeah, you see my face. It was very, very difficult because you're trying not to mess up. Um, it's better to get like very stretchy scrunchies because I had a very hard time stretching these very tight grip scrunchies around the soda can which just made it more difficult and messy so something with more elastic is definitely much better not bad for our first time you guys I'm proud of us I'm proud of us we, we getting it done so what I do plan on doing is putting in the soda cans um, in a upward motion because I like my curls to come out like in a flip motion I just think that's very cute I just know that I've seen this look done before and I know a lot of you are gonna comment and be like that's not how you roll the hair that's not how you roll the hair but this is how I roll my hair like this is what I like so and I hope you guys all can do what you like and I want to see how everyone attempt to do this comes out I think it's all creative um, I just love that the soda cans are pink. I love the traditional Sprite, Coca-Cola, Pepsi idea too, but I'm a pink girl if you haven't noticed yet, so I'm very excited about the color of the cans. So I'm just going to be going through my hair in, la in large chunks, blah blah blah, large pieces of chunks, adding my mousse, repeating the process until I get to the very end. Doing this hairstyle just takes me way back when I used to go to the Dominican hair salons. If you're from Brooklyn, you know we want to go to the Dominican hair salons, get our blowouts, our wash and sets, you know, getting all cute. If you know that you used to get these wash and sets and these blowouts done at the Dominican hair salons, make sure you comment down below. Like, drop it down in the comment below because that's culture right there. That's culture. And I really want to get back into these roller set games because they add so much body. Like this is for creative purposes and style, but when you actually add huge rollers to your hair, like it adds so much volume. So now using a bobby pin, um, the cans that I couldn't get as sturdy as possible, I really just slipped the bobby pin in there and just made it tighter. Um, it's not that hard. You can't see it on video, but I just stuck it through the hair on the bottle to the, to the wig just to give it more safety instead of having to re-roll the hair once again. So like I said, it's better to do it with stretchy or scrunchy so that you can have the flexibility to make it as tight and sturdy as possible. What you'll notice is that I struggled heavily in the beginning, but by the time I got to this like fourth can at the side, I was like, oh, okay, okay, all right, Miss Roller said my me, okay, I was getting it done. And I was very excited, very happy with how things were like looking up and coming out because like I said, I have never tried this before. This is my first time and I wanted to go in raw, like I could have did a test shot prior to which is what my boyfriend told me to do like hey do it first and then do it on video but I'm like you know what I want to make the mistakes with you guys because I don't want you guys to go and try it and then it doesn't come out you know perfect or to your satisfaction and then you think that like it's not good enough I want you guys to see how like crazy of a time I had as well how I went through trial and error as you can see things are not perfect but all we can do is make them as best you know, as, I don't even know what I'm about to say, as good as possible, okay? Um, so I'm very excited and I'm happy that we're almost done. As you can see, the look is coming together. Um, I remember being 16 years old and being inspired by um, this artist called Tokyo. Ah, I forgot her name. I have to research her. I'll add her down below, but um, she's the one that inspired me to do this hairstyle. And I'm showing you guys a cut right now that I got on my finger because 
um, my soda can bottles were like breaking apart, like crunching together and I stuck my finger in there. I don't know why I did that to like make it more like, you know, flat base and don't stick your hands in a can bottle. If they start bending, it's fine. Like you're not even going to notice it. Like the hair is going to cover it. Like don't get cut like me. But um, yeah, I was inspired by Tokyo Jets. I believe that's what her name is and she had this hairstyle years ago I'm talking about when she I was 16 so I'm 26 now 10 years ago and I've never tried it and I was always inspired by it and it's like now I'm just like you know what I'm going to try everything that I've always wanted to try and I'm not gonna limit myself and I'm so happy because I love this it was so cute to do it was so fun I even did it with my boyfriend he helped me the whole time look look how sturdy it is too I'm proud of myself because I really thought I the, when I put the first one in, I was like, yo, these are going to fall out. Like, they're going to fall out before I even gotten a chance to even take a picture. But I made it pretty sturdy. I made it so sturdy that you can see my lace lifting right there at the side that I'm going to have to glue back down because, you know, these things are tight. But at least we're getting them done. And how you guys think it's looking right now? Like, we're at the final steps. And I think it's looking cute. I'm jamming to my music. I'm excited. Um, I'm just so proud of the process. So drop it down in the comments below if you think I did a good job. If you think I did a decent job. And make sure you give me a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> but here I go again. I'm just tightening whatever loose ends I need to tighten. Just to ensure that all my rollers are safe. Now, lastly, I'm going to go in with some mousse. And I'm just going to smooth out all the flyaways. You know the little hairs that don't catch? Yeah, we're just going to use the mousse to tame all of those. And look, we are done. The process is finito. How you guys think I did? And I'm going to show you guys my photo shoot look. Do not worry. Stay tuned because I have a little mini photo shoot planned for this look. And I hope you guys like it. I had so much fun doing this style with you guys and I want you guys to get into it as well. You know I always tell you guys, DM me on Instagram, write it down in the comments below, show me the work you have done because I want to see it. Like, that was my dog rudely interrupting me and this is me vulking. <laughs> but you guys stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm so happy you guys watched. I created this stunning look using all Day Harris products, which will be launched on my Day Harris website. I want you guys to all stay tuned for my launch. All the jewelry and I am wearing right now is from the Day Harris collection. Down to the accessories, which are my glasses, down to the heart-shaped diamond bra. I really put a lot of work in to put this aesthetic together and I'm just so happy that you guys will also be able to purchase this aesthetic once it is launched on my website. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you all so much. Follow me on Instagram, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys can always be alert when I post my next video. I love you guys so much. I know I said that already, but XOXO. Mwah.